Hey guys, Blindmatcher here, and welcome back to the finale of Let's Play Super Luigi Brothers 3 World E. In this episode, we're going to take on the last level of World E. Mushroom Level 30, Bowser's Airship Part 2. And let me tell you, this level is hard. About on par with Bowser's Castle Redux. <laughs> Redux. Can't even speak here. But anyways, as you see, it takes place right where we left off in the chamber with Boom Boom. And right off the bat here, they're going to start throwing cannonballs at us and rocky wrenches. And then giant cannonballs. Oh my god. But there's plenty of power-ups scattered throughout this stage, so there's plenty of room for error. That's the good news. However, I'm afraid that's the only good news I have. There's our first advance coin. The first two advance coins aren't too bad to get. The third one's kind of a doozy. Now that middle block down there contains a star, but honestly, it's not worth the trouble because you can just jump up top there and avoid damage. And for longer than the star will last you, you can continue to avoid damage just by running all the way to the right and jumping like that. And there's another power up here. More rocky wrenches. And a pipe. Now here's one last chance to get a blue boomerang if you want one, but honestly, I don't find them that helpful. Not here. So, I'd much rather have fireballs here. Fireballs? Yum! Had to get that out of the way. As many times have I said, as I've said fireballs without saying that. Alright, here's a particularly tricky jump, but unless you're small or not with a fire flower. If you have a fire flower, it's not really a big deal because there's a power up right here. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And then they're going to bring these guys. Now this is probably the easiest place to lose your power up before we reach the end. And then you got three of these fireball brothers. That's why I like to have fireballs here. Because if you don't, then it's pretty hard to avoid them. And then they're guarding the second advance coin, which is right in the path. It's hard to miss it. And then we have this spot, which is a particularly difficult spot to jump through flawlessly. But as difficult as it is, it is possible. I have actually done it small. And I surprised myself. Alrighty, over here. Dang it. I was really hoping not to do that. Oh well. Actually, you know what? There is a leaf over here. So we're going to use that to make this a whole lot easier. So we're going to move this one out of the way so it doesn't interfere with me jumping back on the... ...on the platform. Okay. So we got this difficult jump. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that. Now, all that's left is the big man himself, Bowser. And this is actually quite difficult. I mean, you got two pits that you can throw them in, but it's still a very difficult fight to take care of. And that's okay. I don't mind trading that hit with him. Cause 
is I can trade hits with him. Unless I get hit here. There we go. Done. <laughs> yeah, that fight is pretty nerve-wracking because the level itself is pretty balls hard to get through. And then you've got to fight that at the end. Anyways, that does it. All levels are beaten with both characters. All advanced coins are obtained, and all e-coins are obtained. World E is complete. All that's left now is, well, hang on. Let's give Luigi some dignity. Go out in style. All we got left now is to look at our e-coins in the castle. From mushroom level 4 we got the leaf. Mushroom level 7 we got the star. Mushroom level 13 we got toad. Mushroom level 24 we got Mario. Mushroom level 28 we got peach. Mushroom level 22 we got Ouija. I'm a Ouija number 1. Mushroom level 3 we got the mushroom. And mushroom level 19 we got the flower. And that does it. I don't know why it says 1F up there, because this is all of them in the game. And... yeah. Anyways, that's gonna do it. Just right there. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And, uh, in case some of you are thinking that I've not been enjoying this, that's, that's not the case. I just want to clear that up right now. I have thoroughly enjoyed playing it. The problem is that I've overloaded myself because I've got this, Dragon Quest V, and I'm doing Pokemon Fire Red for Stopwatch Studios. So, that's... <laughs> I've been overloaded, and doing two of them where I'm recording as I go has been a little much. That's why I decided to record the last of these all in one stretch. This will knock me down to two. But anyways, I have enjoyed this. This is the best game of all time. It's not my favorite game, but it is the best game of all time, and it is one of my favorite games. And I may have a few bonus episodes. Uh, in fact, there's one showing off a few things in the main game I wanted to do, as well as some of the stuff you can do with the e-reader in the main game. And there's one that I plan on doing that'll actually come pretty quickly here just showing off the uh... the achievements that the speed gamers made for their uh... super mario 3 fan fest last year only showing those off because they're kinda interesting some of them were pretty challenging i'm gonna try to get all of that in one video i'm not sure if i'm gonna commentate over it or not uh, but yeah that does it for Super Luigi Brothers 3 World E, and hopefully I will have more Dragon Quest coming up soon. I was, I guess there's nothing left to do but say bye. I've enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Later. <laughs>